Hi there. I was always very interested in the history of karate and <clears throat> tried my best to research it as much as possible um, before the internet came along. Um, it was much more difficult to do this and uh, uh, I read everything I could and I also uh, corresponded with a number of people. Uh, I've already mentioned I uh, corresponded with George Matson of Weichi Ryu and another um, famed instructor and um, expert that uh, was writing in some of um, the American publications at the time and through Black Belt magazine uh, I managed to contact him and um, we started a correspondence and this was um, Master Richard Kim. Now he uh, had actually lived in Japan before World War II. He was of Korean origin and he knew all the top masters uh, and studied many many of the systems of both Japanese and Okinawan karate and um, he readily an answered my questions. I, I had lots of questions about who trained who, uh, the genealogy of the systems, uh, who created the kata, what, what the variations of the kata were, um, particularly uh, for the Okinawan origins because I was always, I, I've become very, very interested in, in, in Okinawa. And uh, I was able to meet um, Master Kim in Paris in 1972 uh, and we had a, a really good chat meeting in person and we had just brought out the first issue of Fighting Arts magazine and I'd sent him a copy and um, he, he said how much he enjoyed it. Anyway, um, he wrote the book that we're talking about Weaponless Warriors and it contains a lot of his research and a lot of, of his knowledge about some of the famous masters, um, biographies of them, genealogy, uh, charts of the different systems and styles and so on. Names like Matsumura, uh, Chetoku Kian, uh, Kanryo Higawana, um, uh, Chojo Miyagi and also, uh, there are a number of legends about these masters. Now, we, we must separate fact from fiction. And uh, Master Kim does a good job of this because there are some quite lurid tales of uh, fights and, and um, defeating various uh, people. And in, in truth, Okinawa is a pretty peaceful place and there wasn't a lot of that kind of thing going on and we all know how things can get exaggerated but um, it does separate the wheat from the chaff to a great extent puts it on a more realistic uh, footing as I say I always found the subject fascinating and when he put it all into this book uh, I, I was highly delighted and it, it's, it's a book that um, uh, was an important part of my library uh, when, when I was still involved in uh, Go, Goju uh, Karate. So uh, he did produce a subsequent uh, book, The Classical Man, and he continued to write for many, many years un un uh, until he passed away. So um, I do recommend uh, Weaponless Warriors, uh, and I'm sure you find... Uh, as much interest in it as I did. 